I've been in, out running the Angler 164 fish today, and let me tell you, sometimes dynamite does come in smaller packages. This 16 foot, four inch boat is really something to drive. It's quick to plane, it tops out nice. When trimmed properly, it's really high out of the water with the spray going all the way back to the back, and it corners really nice. The steering is responsive and crisp, and I was really impressed with not only the top end speed of this boat, but also the steering and handling capabilities. The boat is 16 foot four inches long, like I said, but it's built on an 88 inch beam. Having been to Canada 23 times, I can appreciate the layout and design of this type of a deep V boat. It's small enough to get you back into other places that other boats can't go, but it's big enough and powerful enough to take on some bigger waters. Let's talk a little bit about the construction now on the Angler 164F. The boat is built on a three-piece hull with double riveted seams. The bow is also double plated for extra strength and stability. One thing that I noticed when I first stepped on board this craft and took it for a little spin is that the console is a bit higher than some of the other anglers and the windshield is also higher. What that does is it allows the wind to go up and over you and when you're fishing in northern conditions, sometimes the weather can be a bit brutal. Having that little extra wind protection of a full wrap around windshield can really be a major advantage. That was really impressive when I first got on board and I noticed that the windshield was higher than I was. When you couple the higher windshield and higher console with a nice deep dry interior, it really provides a package that kind of keeps you protected from the weather. It allows you to go out on those mornings when you might consider not going out in some other boats. Although the boat is 16 feet 4 inches in length, we have a 70 horsepower Yamaha 4 stroke on here and it runs really good with that motor. There's plenty of features on this boat and what this boat really has and the other thing that I noticed is it kind of has everything you need and nothing you don't need. Everything is laid out nicely on the deck, down in the interior and back at the back. The marine grade carpet on the front of the deck is really nice to walk around on and there's convenient cup holders located on the bow. The other thing I noticed is that this boat has a lot of storage in it, an amazing amount of storage considering the size of the boat. There's plenty of storage in the front of the boat, there's storage under the bow plate, three storage compartments up front which have nice stainless steel lift pins. The 27 gallon live well, which is a big live well for this size of a boat, located conveniently at the front of the boat. Some people prefer their live wells in the rear, but I always like mine in the front because if you're fishing by yourself, it's simply a matter of turning around and dropping your walleye in the live well, and you're right back on the reef or the island that you're fishing. Let's step into the cockpit and take a look at that area. There's a nice little glove box right there, and it's got a lot of room in it. It could even fit small tackle boxes, which I think is kind of neat. For the passenger, who also wants to ride in comfort. There's a nice little tray here to set phones and things like that in. And there's a handrail right here. So if the water gets really rough, your passenger can simply hold on to the handrail. A couple of things that I forgot to mention on the bow. One, it has a little courtesy light up on the bow for night fishing or late evening fishing. It's also pre-wired for the trolling motor of your choice. We prefer Lynn Coda trolling motors and Garmin electronics but we understand that you may want to make that choice on your own. Now let's take a look at the captain's helm on the Angler 164F. The higher console that I mentioned earlier allows for great placement of the gauges and switches. They're all nice and high, the switches are off to the right. This boat has fuel, tachometer, speedometer, and it also has the switches laid in just to the right. Another thing, just a simple thing that G3's done is they put a little cutout place here on the dash to hold your cell phone so that you can have it right in front of you, talk to family and friends, and not have to worry about it sliding around the bottom of the boat. Just kind of a neat little addition. As always, G3 boats come with quality Yamaha controls and cables. Let's step back a little more towards the rear of the boat because there's some things I want to show you back there. There's an accessory track grooved into both gunnels so you can conveniently place rod holders wherever you want for trolling. There's also great storage on both sides of the boat. It's easy to step up on the back deck and like I said the seat is positionable so you can put a fishing seat back here. The boat also has a 19 gallon fuel tank. When you combine that with a fuel efficient 70 horsepower motor from Yamaha 
you really have a great boat that'll get you across the lake and back. The black urethane paint combined with the G3 Custom graphics give this boat a really nice look. It looks as good on the water as it actually fishes. The Angler V164F is a no-frills workhorse for the serious angler who's in pursuit of the great catch. Stop by your nearest G3 dealer and ask them to see the Angler 164F, still the best value on the water.